Hello there everyone. Today, Wednesday the 14th of June 2023, I went to WD Models in Chesterfield and I bought these. This is an Express Dairy Rushton and Hornsby 48DS 040 and flat bed wagon and double O gauge model railway which is £89 from the Hornby website but he actually sold it to me for £81. I've just had a quick look online and these go from £80 to about £111. Now these are, as you can see, £7.50 each, both of these two insulated milk vans and I'm sure these would be at various prices depending where you buy them from as well but £7.50 that's that's all right don't mind paying that as I've got this in my hand I'll quickly tell you about this as you can see this is number 3855 and it is in the LMS livery insulated milk van got quite clever steering on the bottom if I turn it upside down you see it's got these two little bars here if I turn the middle axle you can see that turns the, the couplings so hopefully when it goes around the corner it won't derail I'm not sure what that little bit on the top there is maybe some sort of refrigerating help to keep it cool inside so it's got two doors on each side and on this side I've got like two little shelf bits I'm not sure what they're for there's no little shelf bit on that side buffers are not sprung not quite too sure how you can read that but it says Hornby Railways, just there. And it says Made in Great Britain R670. I think that's what it says. Quite difficult to read that. Oh, it's got metal wheels. That's quite good. So both of these, both are the same. For some reason, pick that up. But someone's written C42 on the bottom there. Obviously, these are second hand. I didn't buy these brand new. So I don't know where these have been before. So I can tell you about these milk brands. So that's £15 and as you can see he sold me this for £81 but it gave me £3 off. So actually all of this little Express Dairy diesel and these two milk vans only cost me £93. And I then just also realised, see normally I buy, I like to buy steam locomotives and not diesel and I just only realised this was a diesel and the only reason why I bought this because when I was younger I used to live in Hertfordshire and now I live in Derbyshire anyway and when I was growing up my mum and my three older sisters we used to get our milk delivered by Express Dairy and I don't know if they still exist but it was just it's only just because if this was an, said Express Dairy that's the reason why I bought it because it reminded me of the, my childhood days really and the reason why I ended up with these is because the nice man in WD models he's like he found this one and he said that's because like this is a, an express dairy you know why don't I buy this one as well and I, had a, and I was having a little look around and I, thought, and I found this second one so I thought you know why make a little milk train if you like let's get on to the rush then this is our 3943 express dairy Rushton and Holmesby 48 DS 040 and flat bed wagon I want to show you something interesting. That's the information on the back and there's a little line drawing. I was quite surprised to find a, a line drawing because normally I must have different sized boxes because I've got my early BR Terrier here. On the back there's no line drawing because it must be a quite a small box. So it only, does, only has enough room for the information but there's no space for the line drawing. But I've got this um, LMS Princess Royal here and on the back, it's like a small, this is a slightly smaller version of this because it's got to you about the loco information about the and the line drawing. So as you can see, that it's got like two sets of paragraphs. It's only got like one slightly longer. So that's like the large box, middle size box, small box. If you want to pause and read this, then you can. But that basically says, Diesel locomotive, Russian and Hornsby 48D, 48HP, Express Dairy, Russian and Hornsby 48DS, 
for I and Flatbed Wagon, Rushton and Hornsby Limited of Lincoln was formed as a result of the merger between Rushton Protector and Co. Limited and Richard Hornsby and Sand Limited on September 11th, 1918 and their first narrow gauge diesel locomotive left the works on September 1st, 1931. In summer 1932, production was moved to the larger Bolton Works where the firm were eventually to become the Britain's largest builder of diesel locomotives with over 6,500 being built by the time production ceased in 1969. And that's a quick info about it and there you've got line drawing for the length, the width, the width between each of the two wheels and that's the height. Date and the date was drawn in 2018. Let's get this open. It's even smaller than it's photograph on the front there. So small and delicate. And two lots of paperwork. One was about body removal, and then the other one. I think we've seen this a zillion times before. This is the uh, operating and maintenance instructions about general routine maintenance, lubrication, yeah we all know about that. <laughs> oh, why has it got body removal twice? I think this is telling you that you need to ensure front and rear sockets are pushed into the chassis before attempting to remove the body and this tells you about the uh, screws so you've got to remove the four screws. Maybe we'll have a look at that in a minute. And accessories, front coupling and it is the CC ready and on the back about spare parts and safety note. Well, it's a little bit unexpected. Anyway, moving on. Okay, well, all you've got in a spares bag is the coupling. Looks like you've got three there, and I'm not sure what that is. Or, or maybe it's, it's to put where the coupling is, and if you don't want to put a coupling in, maybe perhaps that bit there. Very small and fragile here. Turn it upside down. I think if I do this, you can just about see the four screws. There's one, two, three, four in each of the corners. So I think it's what it's saying earlier. Got that bit there, and that bit there has to be pushed in to help to remove the body. I'm not going to remove the body because I've got no reason to, but just in case if you want to do that. I was right about the accessories. In the accessories bag, there's th three of these or one of them, you can see. So that's like if, if you didn't want to put any of the couplings in, you use that bit instead. It's saying either that or that goes into that little space there. I'm not going to bother with either, it doesn't really matter. Now this up close and personal, has not got sprung buffers, got a little diesel engine there, a little flat bed wagon which says POW3, I'm not sure what that means, it says milk only, I need to get some milk on there, I haven't got any milk. Load 10T, I presume what means maximum load is 10 tonnes. I think this is the third one I've got of these, got a little coupling hook on the front there, in between the two buffers, and this has also got a little coupling hook, so you can so if we wanted to you could put a little coupling chain on it. They're quite fiddly to do. Not much cab detail. I'll see if I can do a closer look. Not much to see inside. You can actually see a couple of levers just there and there. But that's about cab detail. A little black box. You can see just about that, that little black box there. Maybe it's got a few dials on it or something. But I mean it's just a basic little shunter of a loco really and it seems to have a, another little hook just there and I think that's supposed to be a, a little light there and we've got two little windows there and there and I can't quite read that myself but I, I think just there that says rushed and I think and as you can see two little cab windows on the front there not much else to see let's give it a quick test run on my test track downstairs JJ's test track. Here's my Rushton on my JJ's test track.
and it stops uh, all by itself. Okay, so let's take it backwards. That seems to be working just fine. Okay, so let's let's go backwards one more time. But not all the way to the end. Now I've just added these two milk vans, let's see how strong it is. I seem to be pulling them quite well. How about backwards? Do this one more time for taking it upstairs. don't seem to have any problems with that so let's quickly pop upstairs and see how it does on my main layout. So I'll show you a quick comparison between the two wagons I've got. I think they're pretty much both the same. They both fit this top bit and they both got that little display telling you about how the wagon was like that one says milk only and then can't quite read that. Something traffic only for the traffic only. Can't quite read that, it's quite small, but it's a little information tab if you want. So I think they're both basically the same, but just if you like slightly different liveries. I'm right, back upstairs now. Welcome to the Midland Montreal Model Railway. The Triple MR. I think you've got to give these a downhill test, so let's give them a little push. Oh, <laughs> not very far. It's just basically from about there to there both stop roughly in the same place. Then we can go past the station, which is just there. So that's mm, okay-ish. Let's get these connected. Let's speed down the slope there. Oh, bring a bit more power around this corner maybe. We made it up that little slope there. Across the points. To give it a bit more power. So it went in more power down there through the tunnel. It still wants to stop. Let's pull it over and then the suspension bridge. I 
think that's about as fast it will go. It's only got a small little motor in it. Going to how on that little corner it goes around by itself but I think that's full power. I think that's full power. Oh it's done itself this time. wants to do it by itself. Well that's my little milk train or maybe express dairy milk train. <laughs> Let's just stop it here. Let's just push it backwards onto the, that line. Let's decouple the two milk vans. All right, I've just decoupled the milk vans. See how. fast it can go without the milk vans but I think that's roughly the same speed really not much difference really let's just stop it for a second I think you get the idea. Well that's my Express Dairy Milk Van. Milk Van? Express Dairy Milk Train. I think I'll Ted Van because of the insulated milk vans anyway i hope you like what you saw thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you bye